Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Iftekhar and if you want to learn HDR lighting with corner render, this tutorial is exactly for you. So let's begin. So here is the scene which I have uh, worked a uh, few years ago. So I want to show one thing uh, before set the camera here I have assigned a uh, light material on the ceiling which uh, we ha I will show you on light mix how to illuminate this one and <coughs> this is just a simple uh, corner light material uh, you can see if I pick it uh, here it is and uh, this is a simple uh, light material of corona uh, which i have uh, where i have set the intensity at 30 okay so now go back to the camera so set a corona camera uh, press c and uh, click on the mouse middle button to pen and change the focal length as it's an extra large exterior we should uh, uh, take a wide focal length <coughs> so here i have set the uh, default or an average eye level which is five feet and uh, also deck mark on the auto vertical tilt uh, which is uh, kind of necessary for all uh, kind of architectural photography so uh, as we're as we will be doing an HDR lighting uh, if you work with V-Ray you uh, maybe you are thinking of uh, dome light but here is not important here you will open an HDR with the corona bitmap and I have just opened it so uh, we'll go through the render setup and uh, scene and scene environment uh, click on the single map and assign the corona bitmap here So close the material editor now. So here is my ratio is 1080 by uh, 1920. So let's see what happened. Mm. So uh, you can check on the uh, material override uh, it's easy to do the lighting if you check on this uh, option uh, because everything will look white and it will it will be easy for you to see the shadow and light direction here if you don't like it you can uh, you don't need to click on the override material and uh, the sun direction is uh, from almost the back of the camera as we can see now uh, so uh, this doesn't look so good uh, we'll change the light direction uh, on a 45 angle from the back of the camera uh, so uh, we have much more shadow and light So now uh, here is our sun which is eliminating, eliminating light directly towards the building straightly. So uh, to rotate the sun direction uh, here on Corona Bay Pimp we will set the environment uh, to 70 let's see uh, what happened so it's from the right angle now but i don't want it uh, from the right side 
I want it from the left side so to get the light from the left uh, the value will be minus here so let's render again okay this looks good to me so I'll leave it as it is now the camera direction is from this side okay now go to the render setup So if you want to exclude the override material from uh, the glass, uh, we can <coughs> add it uh, from here. You can see with the plus button. Uh, this is added. To check this one, click here, and you can see the glass is excluded. Okay, close. So here you can see the glass material is uh, as it is, as the override material is excluded for it. So stop. Uh, to uh, here you can see the, the, this is empty light mix. So I want to generate the light mix from here. So if you render it again, you can see our light mix is set up already. Here you can see uh, the light circle plane which is assigned on the ceiling, uh, which I have told you before, which is a simple light material from corona material, corona light material. So if you increase the value here, we can, we should see some difference. Uh, it's not working mm, none of this working I don't know why it's uh, not showing the light because of the material overhead as we have only excluded it from the glass but not from the ceiling so switch off the overhead and render it again <coughs> The scene is too big, so it's taking time to get the first preview. Okay, here is our lighting with all the interior and both HDRI. So you can see now is a fully interactive light mix. Here, if you switch off, it it's get dark. You can increase the light of environment or anything which we've set up on the light mix. So here we can do some post. Uh, let's try filmic highlights. Well, no, it doesn't look good. <coughs> um, one more thing is. Uh, if you want to decrease the light value you can also use simple EV here uh, if you set minus one it will be darker and if you 
set it to one or something too it will be more brighter so let's set it to default zero or maybe 0.5 minus <coughs> okay this one is perfect i think So now we'll render it finally uh, set the noise value denoising value to current high quality and render it so you can do some post production while it's uh, still rendering uh, my renderer is not finished yet but I can uh, change the values of those thing here so if I said you can ch uh, change the LUT uh, which is uh, default from Karna Okay, I'll keep it and so we can compress the those highlights which burned some brighter area and I can set the vignetting to one set bloom and glare. You can see some nice bloom here on the ceiling lights. So you can switch off the light after rendering you can see from here it's very easy and user friendly so it's uh, still rendering and it will render for a long time uh, so my render is finished uh, I did a mistake the noise level will be 3.0 and 3.0 will be good enough for an exterior scene and this is the final result thank you so if you have any question or confusion please don't forget to ask I will try my best to help you out. Thank you.